nothing in common but you. They have nothing in common but you. Hey guys, welcome to Big Sister. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for those of you who are subscribed to my channel. If you will be so kind as to give my video a thumbs up, you can even share, but giving a thumbs up will get it some uh, circulation and more people will find my channel. You're also free to share my channel, guys. Share my content, okay? I am not going to say no. Um, but guys, we're gonna talk about that. You know, there's some people that get together simply because they're friends and they seem to be the best of friends, but sometimes all they have is you in common. The fact that they both don't like you or that group of people don't like you, they may be jealous of you, whatever it may be, that's all they have in common. Sometimes people get together, whether it's family members or your friends, they come together because they all have beef with you, as some may say, they have an odd against you excuse me they're upset with you about something and people it's so funny because sometimes when something happens to you right let's say I don't know a breakup uh, you lose some money you lose your business stocks fall through whatever it is it is disaster right whatever it is that people who don't like you will be very happy to hear about People that haven't spoken in a long time will suddenly have a reunion. Family members that were not speaking because they're so happy to hear something happen to you, they're gonna get together. The other thing that can bring people together, other than a funeral, the death of a loved one, is when people hear about bad news and things happening to someone they don't like, it will bring enemies together, okay? And so sometimes you find you've known these people, they don't get along, they've never liked each other, or the person you were friends with, you that person knows that this individual was doing certain things that was really wrong towards you, but all of a sudden you're not friends anymore and they are best of friends. They are thick as thieves and they're going against you. Well, I want you to know that all they have in common is toxicity. All they have in common is hatred and vitriol. That's all they have. So basically it's like trying Basically, it's like a group of hyena. Do you want to be friends with a hyena? All they have in common is the kill. All they have in common is a carcass that they want to eat on. Do you want to be friends with a buzzard that comes together to fly over something that's dying or stinking and infested with flies and maggots? That's what it is. There's nothing positive that they have to share, okay? Because if they were positive individuals, if they're actually uh, civilized individuals, even if they're upset with you and they don't like you, it should not be going to the next level where they're teasing you and bothering you and everything. This stuff is like child's play. This stuff is high school stuff. They don't like you and you sort of expect that from high school kids, uh, elementary school kids. But even then guys, I hate to say kids, children, um, but even then, even when you're in school, which is something I'll talk about in another video, there are things that you have to, kind of realize age is not going to be an excuse if you continue to have certain toxic behaviors if you're a bully if you're a person you pick on individuals you're someone you just go along to get along if you don't learn to overcome those things you're going to be that type of adult you'll find the same nonsense that you were dealing with in elementary school and middle school and high school and college it will go straight into adulthood and that's where you hear about workplace bullying and all this type of stuff and unfortunately guys that stuff uh, sometimes it just doesn't stop okay there are adults that behave the same way and that's because they were the same hard-headed kids children in school the hard-headed bully the troublemaker that everyone went oh they're just a child and let them grow up and become hardened menaces to society and then they just happen to be your co-worker just happen to be your boss just happen to be your neighbor just happen to be the person that's preparing your food and now there's a problem, right? With greater consequences, of course. So sometimes you just have to see things clearly. Don't be sad when all of a sudden you've been excluded from a group. Don't be sad when all of a sudden the people that you thought were your friends, you realize they're betraying you and all of a sudden they don't want you around. Sometimes guys, the only thing they have in common is finding a fault with you. You know, if you're somebody that if you've done something wrong, you should be mature enough to say, hey, I did wrong. And you get with people, they're really your friends. 
you guys should be able to get together, talk about the situation, and it's over with, and you be friends again. But there are people where you didn't do anything wrong. They just ch they just changed up and switched up. And all of a sudden, you're going to know because things are not the same. You see, people can try to, they may not tell you directly, but you'll feel it. Because, you know, we are, we have, we're, we're spirit. We can feel that stuff. You can feel that negativity. They can't fake it. They can't smile the same. They won't look at you the same. They won't say the same. And you're going to notice that they are getting closer or they're whatever. But a lot of times, guys, all they have in common is negativity. They are, th this group is vacuous. They're happy to see you fall. They like to see people hurt and in pain. And that's it. And what that tells you is that in time, when they get bored and there's nothing else to talk about about you, and when you have achieved and you've gone on and things are better, well, they may talk about you for a little while there, but they'll get bored with one another. And more than likely, guess what? They'll turn on each other. And now when they turn on each other and rip each other to threat, to shred through talking about each other and destroying one another, guess what? One or both of them will try to come back to you like, oh, you know, this is what it was. And I tell you, if you let that hyena in, if you get bit, that's going to be on you. Learn your lessons. See who people are. When you are at your worst state in life, you're going to see who people are. When you go through things, you're going to see how people are. A lot of times, if you're a person that you're pretty, you're not even thinking about it, right? You don't even know that. You may be handsome. And sometimes it's just you're popular. People like you. You're capable. Sometimes it's nothing you can even think about. They, you have nice legs. You have pretty toes. People be mad at you over the, the silliest things. You do well in school. You're a great athlete. And they're mad at you, right? And so... They just hate this thing about you. And then something happens and it's so, they're just so happy. And a lot of times what brings people together, nothing that will bring negative people together is simply that they, ha they take the light in your pain and in your hurt. There are people that's like that, toxic, evil, just they like to see people in pain. And so when they happen to come together like oh we have something in common they're more than happy to talk about you and discuss you but you have to just be you and live your life and realize whatever is going on at this present time whatever is going on while you're in high school and in middle school it i know it feels like the end of the world for those of you that's a younger audience you may think it's just the end of the world but you're gonna graduate you're gonna move on you're in high school oh it feels like the end of the world it's not it may be right now just you're facing things there, but you're going to graduate and leave these people. And if you focus and get your education, you will be the boss of these people. Or you'll be just in a position where you can separate yourself from these kinds of individuals that behave this way. Because you have power, you have authority, you will have, you will be able to build something for yourself. You see what I'm saying? So whatever it is, guys, just don't let it get to you. And understand that some people that they're acting like they're the best of friends. When you see them sitting there and they're laughing and pointing and whispering and talking, just be glad you're not a part of that. They're negative. They have low energy. They have evil intentions. They are vitriol. They're vacuous. They're just a group of miscreants, social miscreants and misfits. And they have nothing but negativity in common. So consider yourself to have dodged a bullet. All right, guys. Bye.